Hello, thank you for joining me today. Uh, we're going to go over Z-Wave lighting. Uh, I'm going to review a couple of rules and a couple of schedules today, just as a general overview. Um, easiest thing to do is go to our website, click on customer support, and you can find alarm.com on here. Just click on alarm.com. takes you to the login page, and then select login. You can reset your password if you don't have it. My credentials are shown here. Click login. So take us to our home page. Then we're just going to go ahead and click on automation. And um, as you see, we've, we've got a few rules in here now. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with schedules. Select schedules, and I'm going to add a new schedule, light schedule. So I've got four different Z-Wave lights here. Um, obviously not using my Christmas tree light plug currently, but um, I, I do want to use my candle Franguist warmer light plug. I got a candle warmer plugged in uh, to one of my Z-Wave plugs, and I just want to set a schedule to have it automatically turn on and off. Obviously, I'll be able to use my phone to, to manually do this, but if I forget, you know, or I really don't want it running in the middle of the night, so I'll just uh, make a schedule for it. So, go ahead and do that. I'm going to call it Candle Warmer. You can call it whatever you like. So, and then I'm going to select the actual plug in question. You can do multiple uh, ones here, or in this example, we're just going to select one. And I want it every single day. So select that. I want it to turn on. Okay. And you can set the time of day here, or you can go sunrise, sunset. I think that um, I gotta go ahead and go with sunrise. And then you can even say, hey, before or after exactly, uh, I'm gonna put it at exactly. Uh, you know what? No, I'll put it 15 minutes beforehand. How about that? That way it starts getting, uh, smells good before I, I wake up, right? Um, then I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. I want it to automatically turn off. Um, I could do sunset if I wanted to, but there again, I like to smell good after sunset sometimes. So I'm just going to set it at 9 p.m. Okay. And I'm going to save that. So you successfully set up a schedule for a, a Z-Wave plug. Uh, candle warmer is just my example, but uh, there's a lot of different uh, things you could do to set up schedules. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and set up a rule. Um, I'm going to go to rules here, click on new rule, event triggered is what I'm interested in. Okay, and the name of the rule here is going to be Coach Lights Front Door. So I'm, I, you know, you can put whatever you like in here, but um, you know, this name of the rule here, I just referenced Coach Lights because it's actually my Coach Lights that I want to control and I want my front door to be the one that triggers it. So I, I put that in there just for my reference. Uh, select lights, and then you can, you know, many different options. If you want the triggered by alarm or disarm or sensor activity, or even when you're home versus not home, you could, you could do that. But in this example, I'm gonna go with sensor activity, and then I'll choose my door. In this example, I'm gonna go with front door. When it opens, um, and then I want it to turn on. I just want it to turn on for five minutes. And I want it to start when it opens. So, and then <clears throat> obviously I'm going to choose the front porch light. I probably should have named that coach lights, but it, essentially it's the same thing. So I've got that. And then you could do it all times. Well, for my situation, it doesn't make any sense. I don't want my lights to turn on during the day. Uh, so you could 
schedule a time if you want, but I'd rather not do that either. I'm going to go ahead and go with just after sunset. So I'll click on that and I'm going to go ahead and save it. So now uh, in the event that the door opens after sunset, it's going to turn my lights on, my coach lights on for five minutes and it'll automatically shut them off after the five minutes has expired. Um, I find that that's pretty nice because you open up the door, you let the dog out or something like that and it's dark, um, you can you know, kind of see where you're going and not have to worry about turning the light on. It's automated. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with another rule. Let's add a rule. Another event triggered rule. And name this rule, I'm setting up my pool lights. So, name it pool lights. Rear slider. So, um, obviously I'm going to select lights and I'm going to again go with sensor activity. I, I find this to be extremely convenient. Uh, I love the fact that uh, I'm, I'm heading out. I actually have lights going all the way around my pool. Um, LED lights, very cool. Uh, so if somebody opens up my sliding glass door, it automatically turns those lights on and it brightens up my whole backyard for me. And uh, I want to do it when it opens, turn on. Certainly don't want to do it indefinitely. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on for five minutes as well. And I want it to happen when the door opens, certainly not when it closes. And then you choose the one in question and this one would be pool lights. So I'm going to click on that. And then uh, obviously you don't want it all times. I don't really care about it during certain times. I'm going to use the after sunset once again and save. So now I've got that all set up. Uh, very easy to change um, and also modify. Once they're set up in here, you can access this through your mobile device. Uh, you can turn them on and off. You can modify them. Um, you know, I, it's easier from the computer, I guess, but uh, you can certainly do it from your mobile device. If you want to turn the rules on and off for whatever reason, you can just simply turn them on and off, call it a day, you can delete them. If you want to edit it, say for example, you want to log in and um, you know, five minutes doesn't do the trick for you, so you want to change it to 10, uh, then go ahead and do that and just hit save. So super easy to modify. And that uh, concludes uh, my video here today. I hope this is helpful and uh, we super appreciate your business.